Hey, welcome to another video. Um, this one is from a comment. Uh, this guy says that he drank until his gallbladder was perforated. Uh, he said it was the worst pa pain in his life and that's what made him quit, right? I I've never heard of this one. Um, so I had to read up on it and check it out, right? It's, uh, you know, like we generally concentrate on, you know, we're talking about any of this organ damage. We talk about things from the perspective of the liver or the kidneys or the heart, or the brain, cancer, that kind of things, you know, the, the most obvious ones. Um, but like I said, at the end of the day, wherever the alcohol flows, the damage goes. And there's some areas of the body which are far more susceptible to alcohol damage than others. But even in those areas that are less susceptible, right, um, they're still going to suffer from the unnatural presence of alcohol, right? So first of all, let's cover what the gallbladder is and what its functions are, right? The gallbladder is a small pear-shaped organ that's tucked up beneath the liver on the um, right-hand side of your body. Right? And there's a large chunk of the liver that uh, sort of wraps around and over the gallbladder. And its primary function is to store bile, which has been made in the liver, and then to release it in small amounts into the small intestine uh, as it's needed for fat digestion. Now, perforated liver um, is basically what it means. It's a, a tear or a hole in the wall of the gallbladder. And as you can imagine, that's a serious condition, right? You're talking about bile and the other contents of the gallbladder leaking out into the abdominal cavity. And that's going to cause all kinds of problems, as you can imagine. So infection, abscesses, inflammation. And while there's no direct link between drinking alcohol and uh, gallbladder perforation, there is a link between alcohol and uh, the liver and other gallbladder problems like gallstones. And it's from that, um, from what I've been reading, it's from the formation of these gallstones and the gallstones can block the bile ducts. And if the gallbladder becomes distended due to its, um, due to this obstruction, or, um, or if a gallstone inflames the gallbladder, then it's more susceptible for uh, to perforation, to get in a hole in it, right? So from this point of view, it's an indirect consequence of drinking alcohol. So that's about all I have for that one. It's, uh, it doesn't sound good. Uh, it sounds very painful from what this guy is going through. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's not something that I'd like to, um, to go through myself. So another reason to stop drinking. If you want to stop, you want some help stopping drinking alcohol, we've got a free course below, Beginner's Guide to Stopping Drinking Alcohol. Uh, beginner's guide to getting unplugged from alcohol um, it's just basically uh, gives you some of the basic ideas and concepts that we have in the main program it helps you a little bit closer to getting towards that decision to stop drinking alcohol okay so um, and we've also got the link to our main program take care of yourself onwards and upwards bye now